In this particular video, we are answering the question that why is my cloud bill so high when I thought I was using pay as you go model. Now this is something which I'm sure all of you have come across. We have to understand that cloud pricing is different from what you are probably used to, right? It is different. What's the reason? The reason is that you actually don't own anything on the cloud, right? You are just kind of renting and using it or like you are not really buying the stuff from them. So you pay for something when you are using it. What does it really mean? It actually means in very simple terms, if you keep a resource engaged, you are paying for it. Okay. Think of a disk volume, like a, you know, disk, which is attached to your VM. That disk stores your data, even when your VM is switched off, isn't it? So that's why you go ahead and see EBS volume charges even when your EC2 instance is actually turned off. So you need to understand how to differentiate these two things. When you switch off your EC2 instance, the processing stopped, okay, but your data is still stored on the EBS volumes. So you are actually engaging or you are making use of that EBS volume to store your data. Hence, you are paying for it. So what's the way out? How do you understand this thing? Only one way. You need to understand all the pricing factors for every cloud service that you use. Really, you need to understand all those pricing factors. There is no other way. For example, if you get into the details, you'll understand that let's say when you go ahead and use NAT gateway, it has two different pricing factors. One is the running cost, right? From the time you provision a NAT gateway, this cost keeps getting incurred. And the second is the amount of data which gets processed via that NAT gateway. So when you understand the pricing factors of your NAT gateway, you understand that yes, these two things are there and you will accordingly design your strategy. The same goes for other service or feature, which is interface endpoint, right? So the same thing applies to that as well. So what are the next steps? What can you do? We recommend that you go ahead and watch the detailed pricing video for every AWS service on our channel. We have some of those already there and many more are coming up. So go ahead and hit subscribe and check our channel for the AWS pricing videos. Thank you.